we, we have a lot of work to do as a country, and I think we're going to have to do some serious reconciliation. I would say to my Republican friends that it's not the extremists in any party that is going to rule the legislation of this country. It's all about compromise. Biden is about compromise. If I had any Trump supporting relatives, I'd say, give us a chance. Let's see what we can do together. If you voted for Trump, like, sorry about it. It's time for this country to heal and it is time to put this racist agenda behind us. And we can still be neighbors, but there's no way we're going to live properly in the next four years with Trump in office. I would say to them, I mean, we've been there. We were there four years ago. This is the process. It was never going to be for a lifetime. Yep. And so now that we're here, yep. you know, the idea is what can we do to kind of come together that's going to leave everybody at peace and with their rights intact? I think I'm going to say Biden is the president for everybody, including you. And you don't know it yet, but stay, stay woke. I think trying to understand people's pain and their suffering is a way to start to get us on the right track to making some change. I think in talking to my neighbors, it's important to understand that a lot of this country has suffered in the last four years, and that suffering needs to be acknowledged. And I think that in acknowledging that suffering, it's easier for us to come together and hopefully work towards a better America.